Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me video for this week's video because we should we should get ready together. We can talk as we get ready. So we're gonna dive right into the video. I hope that you enjoy it and let's get started on with the video. This has been my go-to primer right now. This is the Fenty Beauty primer. I just started using this um, once my other primer ran out. So I'm just gonna rub all this all over my face. For those of you that don't know, I am in the Bay Area. So recently there's just been, you know, obviously COVID is still present, but we are no longer, I guess you could say like in quarantine. So I'm grabbing my NARS Pri not primer, sorry, Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is just like a go-to that I've been using for some time. Yeah, so I have been like, you know, kind of, full of i feel like just like overall this year has been like pretty hard um just you know and not just for me but i feel like for a lot of people just like with everything that is going on and recently aside from COVID, there's been a lot of like fires in the area where i live just in the bay area around california and such so that also has been like kind of hard um because there's been like a lot of smoke currently it's like unhealthy air um and it varies throughout like the weeks throughout the days it started like a couple weeks ago i believe and there was a huge thunderstorm like lightning here which was so scary you guys like i was so scared because i don't think i have ever like experienced that kind of like lightning or I, at least i don't think i have so i was so scared it started at like five or three in the morning one night one night slash day um i guess one day but it was really scary and that's kind of what caused a lot of the fires here in california for me personally i'm not a fan of being in a place for so long like i would love to know you guys' input on this but like i am not a fan of being inside for too long i just I feel I start feeling kind of like sick and like I don't know unmotivated like discouraged sad and like I just don't like being in an enclosed space for too long and being with like COVID and also the fires recently just has been like discouraging to be honest it hasn't been very nice feeling to feel like I have to stay inside um, because of you know for safety precautions and everything but like it just has been hard i feel like i just have been finding myself in like not like a good mindset not a very like encouraged or motivated mindset and just kind of like i don't know just not in a good place and i feel like my mood throughout the last few months since like probably like january or february i feel like has just been like a constant like up and down long like my ups don't last very long my downs seem to last longer than my ups which is so like discouraging for me to see and you know like moving into a new space for me for those of you that don't know um i moved recently that has been a really nice change of environment i feel like but i still feel like you know like not in the best mindset still because i do spend a lot of time inside and i'm super grateful to be able to have a full-time job that i can work from from my home without feeling like i am constantly anxious for working out like in on site or anything like that um but it is still you know um it is still hard okay, so for foundation which is the next step i have the cover effects which has been my go-to this is the natural finish foundation but i also have the estee lotto estee lauder <laughs> double wear stain place makeup foundation which is this one and i haven't ordered a different one so okay there might be nothing in here <laughs> Um, but I really need to order a new foundation. It's just like kind of hard ordering makeup online. I don't know. I really prefer buying makeup in person. But I just, I haven't walked into a Sephora or like an Ulta in so long. Like so long. <laughs> it's been a while. Like I don't feel very comfortable like going out that often because i do want to feel comfortable going to my parents um and spending time with them while still you know like 
I don't want to feel anxious going to my parents and like freaking out because I feel like I might have like COVID or anything. So I don't like to put myself in situations where I feel like I might get it because I just will freak out and I don't want that <laughs> because it, there's just a lot of anxiety that I feel I have gotten and kind of gathered in a way this year more than usual. I look like a monster. Um, this doesn't even look like my color. I feel like I really need to spend more time outdoors and like spend more time exploring more because that is not like prohibited or anything like I can still go hiking or go out to the outdoors and stuff and still honestly I feel pretty like fine going like hiking or going like you know somewhere like the beach possibly I haven't been to the beach I haven't touched the sand in so long just because that actually did freak me out kind of um, because I just get anxious around the thought of you know possibly like getting something or anything but I think I really need to for like the sake of my mental health like I really need to go on like day trips more or like something like that I went on a day trip for the first time ever which felt so different and I really noticed like uplifted my mood um going out somewhere new and like eating by the lake and like that was super nice and it was such a nice change like I hadn't I had I haven't eaten out in a restaurant like which was of course outside not inside um but I haven't eaten in a restaurant in like since March since it's COVID began in um California so it's it was so weird but also so nice to be outside sitting and eating out um for once in so long and it was just a really kind of like self-care moment because i really am the kind of person that really loves spending time outside spending time with nature and all of that stuff we're gonna use this translucent powder this is the laura mercier one i've had this for quite some time um <coughs> hopefully i'm not inhaling this oh my god as I was saying, I feel like it's really important for me to go outside and to go on trips and I really miss the beach and like going on the sand and stuff like that. Like the little things that I feel like maybe a lot of us took for granted, I really miss like on a day to day basis. Like I miss driving to work, which is so crazy because like there's there was traffic sometimes like it would be, you know, rushing to work sometimes. But like I actually miss those things and um it's interesting to see how people like people's comfort level with everything going on in terms of whether they feel comfortable going certain places or being around a certain amount of people like i sometimes get freaked out by the amount of people there is at the grocery store <laughs> but that's just me like i just get like anxious sometimes in situations like that because of what's going on but some people might feel totally fine in those situations so it's interesting to see how everybody is approaching it and their comfort level with it you guys really seem to like the thought of me trying out this palette because i saw a good amount of comments um my makeup brushes too are um kind of dirty you guys i really need to like get my life together um but we're gonna start with this beige 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 color so i'm basically getting ready for you guys <laughs> basically literally i'm getting ready for you guys because most of the time anyways i get ready for you guys i don't really get ready for people when i go places i really don't i get ready for you guys i do not have eye primer i definitely didn't get a new one after i ran out it's been so long um, i usually don't do many makeup videos on this channel just because i don't feel like i have the expertise or the experience or the gift of uh, basically doing eye makeup and such i literally am the most boring with makeup i keep it the most neutral and natural look that you can ever think of because i literally can't even do eyeliner in one sitting like i have to be there for some time let's go wild let's go different with this we're gonna go with it because i tend to do a lot of just basic looks so let's see um how this goes I'm gonna grab some blue. Um, hopefully it doesn't look bad with this color that I have on. So let's hope I don't suck. Um, 
but we're gonna add some blue i feel like oh my god this is so pretty okay yeah this is really pretty i love these colors they're so so pretty and i feel like this palette also just like is like an everyday thing like the neutral colors obviously the color ones are maybe not um do i look weird i'm gonna try and clean it up like on the sides so that i'm not totally like messing this look up this is way out of my comfort zone which is why i wanted to do it because it's totally different than what i would ever do on my eye look okay so i think we're gonna go along with this i think i think we're gonna do it um hopefully this turns out like okay um but i'm gonna go in with the contour i'm gonna give the eyes a rest um and myself a rest because i don't know what i'm doing um i'm gonna use this contour this is the tarte park avenue princess and i'm going to just bronze up or um, contour my face i'm also gonna add some highlighter so this is the becca highlighter and i'm almost I'm basically hitting Pam with this. So we're almost out of this, which is crazy. I don't have a backup. So hopefully if you guys have any recommendations, I really, really want to get a cute one. I do love this one though, but it's definitely like falling apart because I'm definitely almost out of this, but I'm going to put this around my cheekbones and over here. I'm also going to add some up here under my eyebrows. Like this makes such a different and difference. And I definitely still have to do my eyebrows. So something else um we're gonna grab a milani little drugstore tea rose powder blush and it looks so pretty if you guys ever seen these like it literally looks like a rose which is so pretty i could really use the rosiness because i feel like i might i'm like too light skin like i really need to tan you guys like it's it's not a good time but then again we're also going towards fall so maybe i don't really need to tan anymore <laughs> Okay, we're gonna use this little Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator, and I am going to little do the little brushing first. So I'm gonna use this little mirror right here, just to brush them out. But yeah, so as I was saying, I feel like it's been a constant like up and down for me in terms of the past few months. But I'm hoping to make some changes um, very soon, if not like. Well, yeah, I'm hoping to make some changes very soon in terms of just my job, my full-time job, and just, like, changes overall. I have always wanted to be self-employed, you guys, and I believe I have mentioned that before in, like, a video. And I feel like that's just what would be best for me because I really have been learning, especially the last year, being, like, a recent grad and working like full-time for almost like a year um it's been like an experience that you know like i'm very thankful to have a job but i really find the most joy peace and happiness doing what i love to do which is like making content for you guys vlogging on my vlog channel and like doing social media related things and designing things for like projects that i'm working on and also the recent podcast that i launched like doing those types of things are things that really like motivate encourage me and things that i really love and so i feel like when i'm like working in my full-time job i feel kind of stuck i feel like tied down in a sense and having that on top of being at home so much and kind of also feeling stuck also like in my own space even though it is my space but like i kind of still feel stuck being inside and also in a way working for somebody else working for even though it is like a great job and i love it at the end of the day like i'm thankful for it but it's just not something that i'm passionate about and not something that like i fully like see myself doing for very long so i'm constantly thinking of those things and wishing i was doing those things rather than obviously working a full-time job but that's kind of when my where my head and mindset have been at recently i'm trying out this little pumped up colossal volume express mascara for the first time i think we're done with the eye look because i literally don't know what else to do you guys <laughs> props to me for getting out of my comfort zone um 
But yeah, that's kind of just where my mindset has been at. And also, I feel like my confidence definitely is not there. I feel very self... I feel like my self-esteem has also gone down. I feel like I'm not putting effort into working out, into eating better, into doing all those things for me. And I really want to and need to make a difference in that. I want to commit. I just... Like, I haven't fully committed. I feel like I will say I'll commit and then I don't. And it's, you know, like, it's discouraging for me, for myself. And, you know, it's just not a good place to be. And I feel like because my moods have been so, like, up and down, it's just a very hard place to be in. And I know this year has been crazy for all of us. So I just wanted to share those thoughts with you guys in case you guys are going through anything that might be tough that you feel like you're not going through a like a good you're if you feel like you're not in a good mindset if you feel like discouraged or unmotivated like trust me you are not alone i put out content on this youtube channel every single week and i feel like i have yet to miss within the last few months especially through quarantine and i don't know how that's even possible but that i am constantly like super cheerful and positive and try i try my best but we're all going through crap like we're all going through things and i want this channel to also be real and transparent with you guys because this channel is not meant to just like show you like oh look this is a cute outfit or like this is how you should do your makeup or anything like that's not the goal of this channel like the goal of this channel for me the way i see it at least is to like encourage you and like motivate you and also you know share the things that i love to do and that i enjoy and if you enjoy that i mean that also makes me super happy like if i can make your day better just by the, you watching the freaking intro when i'm just like hey guys like you know all this stuff if i can like help you feel better in any way or make your day better in any way that that's literally all i want at the end of the day i'm just thankful that i do have everything that i do have and i get to share with you guys like this like this youtube like it's free to make an account like it's free to post videos and do all that stuff which is super cool because i get to do this and i've pretty much found what i love to do literally if i could do this for free forever i would no doubts <laughs> trust me i put so much work into videos and i enjoy it which is might be weird for some people but i really enjoy and i think that is the look that we're ending up with for this um it's very different for me i'm taking off the clips but it's very different um i feel like a very different person <laughs> looking at myself but i feel like it's very out of my comfort zone and it's actually pretty fun i just feel like this talk was this talk might have been like all over the place but it's literally like it was like a mind dump like everything that was just in my head i just kind of dumped it because at the end of the day i want to be honest and transparent with you guys so if you feel like you have felt lost or just kind of like your emotions have been up and down or you just haven't been feeling your best i just want this to be a reminder that you're not alone you're literally not alone i do not feel my best i do not feel all the time happy and my mindset for the last few months has been just a constant up and down sometimes i'll have my highs most of the times are my lows but i sometimes can't even film a video because i just don't feel well i feel sad or just i just don't feel good at all and i just want this to be kind of like a reminder that you're not alone and that's my main purpose for this video to remind you that you're not alone our lives none of our lives are perfect so i just want to remind you that and you're not alone and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope you're having a great day or night and i'll talk to you guys very soon in my next video bye guys